All right, guys, what's going on? So the first thing that I want to do today is show you guys my card from Last War. I got it after I had already uploaded my video, but I did get a platinum card for Last War, and I wanted to show it to you guys. Um, very cool. I had a great war Last War. 14.64 is very high for um, for a single war PR. And in the meantime, I've got War 3 of Season 25, and we're facing PBT. And I'm actually going to do this a little bit differently. I live recorded my reaction to um to their map and tried to predict which path i would be on so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the map and i'm going to um show you guys like what what i thought i was going to be taking um so if this works out um i'll continue to do it let me know if you guys like it or dislike it but either way here's uh here's their map all right guys what's going on i'm gonna try to do this um spectating live. I'm not sure if this is going to work, but I'm just going to try to predict what path I'm going to be on. So the first thing I'm seeing here is a cord on Vigorous Assault. That's probably going to be, it could be Omega Red, it could be um, Apocalypse, or it could be Quake, I'm not really sure. Um, Elsa Bloodstone. Okay, I see a hit monkey on path 5. That's a definite possibility. Probably with Human Torch taking the first fight. Um, I don't think I'll be on any of the uh, far right lanes here, but all of those placements are super common. Uh, Nick Fury on Node 23, I think. Okay, I guess that is a, probably a rank three. Um, I'll, I'll probably end up taking that. Uh, Mole Man on Footloose, I could definitely see myself taking that as well here. Okay, I don't see anything super out of the ordinary over here. Uh, Mordo, that's pretty good placement on Buffet. Um, yeah, uh, possibly, depending on who you're using. Okay, let's see here. Domino on Path 7, super common placement. We usually use Archangel for that fight. Ebony Maw will probably be a Quake fight. Um, Apocalypse on this note here, um, a lot of times we end up using magic for that fight, and a lot of times we also end up waiting for the global to go down. So it's likely that anyone over here will be taking these fights after the global goes down. So it's totally fine. Man Thing on Vigorous Assault, Quake Fight. Um, Bryn will probably be taking uh, this... Um, I forget his name right now, Dragon Man, um, on the Hazard Shift mini node. Um, Magneto will be taking OG Vision and probably also Mysterio. Um, thing, I mean, anyone could take that fight. Could be Omega, could be um, Falcon, anyone like that. So it doesn't look like I'll be taking many bosses if I had to guess. Uh, but again, I could be wrong about that. And then a champion boss, which we have definitely done before. That's pretty tricky placement. Probably need to take a symbiote supreme there. So if I had to guess what which uh, path I'm going to be on here. Hmm. I would probably guess path one. Maybe path six. Um... That, I, I guess that would be my best guess. I guess I could also end up taking Elsa on path three. Um, could definitely end up taking Symbiote Supreme. I mean, it, it honestly just depends. Um, I definitely think that a Human Torch needs to go to path five. I'm not sure if he would fit on my team anywhere. And then in section two, it'll probably be six or maybe somewhere on the left. I don't think I'll be taking anything on the right over here, um, unless I bring Quake. So, yeah, that's my, that's my kind of sort of prediction. Their map looks pretty, pretty good, uh, but nothing crazy, nothing super out of the ordinary. So hopefully we don't have a super hard time with this fight, but yeah, all right. That's all I've got for the live part. Okay, so my final prediction when I looked at the map was path 1 in section 1, path 6 in section 2. 
Um, I'm actually going to be wrong about both of those, <laughs> both of those paths. But I did get some other stuff right. Um, we did end up doing a boss rush. Um, I was not, I wasn't part of it. But to get the right side of section two down, we did wait for the global to go down. Uh, Bryn took the fights that I thought he was going to be taking the mini bosses. So I'm going to be starting off here on path five in section one. Um, I was also right that a human torch needed to take this fight. Um, so Carl is actually going to take um, that first fight there. And I'm going to be taking Hitmonkey on path five. So last time that I took Hitmonkey here, um, I actually got hit. There's a weird interaction with Omega and um, the ebb and flow knockdown. Omega's death spores preventing Hitmonkey from shrugging things off when he uh, regains his protection. So I'm actually not going to knock him down in this fight. I'm just going to out damage the node. Or I'm sorry, I guess I do knock him down once. Um, I didn't think that he would shrug that, but he did. So I'm not going to knock him down again. I'm just going to um, I'm just going to try to out damage it. You can see that I'm like 20 seconds in. He's already at 50%, but I don't plan on knocking him down anymore. So here we go. I'm just going to bait out special ones. Um, and yeah, the rest of this fight, the first half of it was really fast. The second half is going to be much slower. Um, it's just not worth the risk. Like, you know, Legacy is one of the most skilled players that we have, um, you know, in our alliance. And he has, um, he has died to this fight before um, just by knocking him down and missing a special one evade. And I just, I don't want to risk it. Um, you know, we lost our last war against New Nation. And so I don't want to, like, be responsible for us uh, giving up an attack bonus in this war. Um, at this point in, in the season, our battle group has only died one time. So yeah, I just don't want to take any weird risks. I'm going to go ahead and finish up with a special three here. And that is the end of that fight. It was a little bit longer than usual, but that's okay. And then I'm going to be moving up to Nick Fury on node 23. Um, I did predict when I was scouting this map that I would end up taking this fight. I've taken it a few times before. It's not very hard placement. I definitely think there are better places for Nick Fury on the map. But then again, now that, um, now that Stubborn isn't a thing anymore, um, Nick Fury isn't a very hard defender. So here, um... You know, I built up to 20 spores, just doing medium light combos. Uh, medium light back up. He'll either throw a special one or he'll dash in at me for a parry. Either way, um, I don't care. So, um, if you do medium light medium, you can get really mixed up the next time that you go in for a hit, or if he gets passive and you try to block hit him or something, um, he will evade. So there, um, he lost his life model decoy, which isn't a huge deal. Um, there I was way too early on my degen. I've definitely had better uh, Nick Fury fights on this node. So got a pretty good intercept there. I'm going to go ahead and throw my special three, try to regain a little bit of health. I think he has like 10 spores on him right now. I'm not sure exactly how much healing that normally equates to. But that'll take him down to 11%. So I got a little bit of healing back from that. Uh, medium light. Immediately go into block to try to bait out a uh, heavy attack. And he'll go down. So not a hard fight at all. This next fight um, is actually going to be my last fight with Omega Red. Um, I was supposed to take this after the global went down. I asked if I could go ahead and take it beforehand. So I have a special three defense boost on and that's it. And I'm just gonna, um, you know, see how this goes. If he doesn't want to throw special attacks, I'm not going to try to force it. I'd much rather keep my spores up and tank a special three. The special three doesn't do anything super crazy. I almost think it's kind of a waste to put him on this node um, because his special three doesn't do anything insane. Like it doesn't stun you or anything like that. Um, so here I'm going to go ahead and take the special three. You can see I don't have an invulnerability boost on. It's been like a month and a half since uh, those were available in store. 
I'm at 65%. He's got a bunch of spores on him. I'm going to throw my special three. Um, so I'm going to get all of that adrenaline healing back. So I'm up to like 75% now. And then I'm going to get a bunch of life steal and uh, power steal here. So back up to 84%. Um, you know, that node really isn't too hard, especially with Mole Man. He seems to be pretty popular there, though. And then my next fight, I'm actually going to be on path 4 in section 2. This is Steady Buildup Unblockable. So this guy, um, I do think he can armor break you, but the other thing is that he puts these passive, he, or he puts these, like, dark tide debuffs on you, um, periodically, and the only way to get rid of them is to power drain him. So you're gonna see, I'm gonna get these on me. I'm gonna cycle some special ones at first. So there's my first one right there, um, but I have now power drained him. So because of that, I actually lost it. Otherwise he'll gain up to three. Right there I went in after the special two. I shouldn't have done that. Um, that was my mistake, I got parried. Um, but Doom is, just such a safe, um, just such a safe champion to use. So I'm not, you know, I mean, I'm at no point in this fight am I concerned at all. So, you know, he's never going to get three Dark Tide um, debuffs on me. Unless I just, you know, stop using special attacks completely. Um, and this fight will be over really quick. It's only a rank 2 6 star. Go in here, drop the special 2. And he's going to go down, so... Not too bad at all. And then my next fight, and actually my last fight of the war, is going to be this uh, rank 3 Silver Surfer. Steady build up unblockable, crum crumbling armor. Um, you know, it, it makes sense to put him here, um, but Doom just completely shuts him down on this node. The only debuffs he's going to put on you are armor breaks. Um, crumbling armor is going to armor break you. So there's like, I mean, there's no concern in this fight if you're using Dr. Doom. Um, and, you know, I think that this would have been better placement if they hadn't put, um, if they hadn't put another cosmic on this path because this just makes it, you know, if you put, um, two champions, two defenders on a path that are both um, easily countered by someone, especially someone like Dr. Doom, um, you know, you're just not going get, to get a kill that way. So I'm going to go ahead and throw my special three here. Got him. Um, you know, I always try to push the defender above two bars of power if I can before I throw my special three with Dr. Doom. I think that that is um, the best way to make sure that you get back up to a special two. So medium, medium, light, 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 medium, medium special one. Now I'm at my special two. And I decided to just go ahead and throw the special two. Um, but you can see that he's not taking any incinerate damage. I completely forgot that he doesn't take damage from incinerate. It just counts as extra buffs on him. Um, so that is kind of annoying. I thought the fight was going to be over. But I'm basically just going to go in here, hit him a couple more times, and he'll go down. So... Um, very easy war for me today. I'm just going to go ahead and move up. The boss is already down. Pete is going to uh, take that um, Hulk with Ghost. And yeah, that's the end of the war. So, um, you know, not, not too difficult at all. We did end up winning this war. It was 8 to 16. Um, this is... My battle group struggled a little bit. The other two battle groups did a great job this time around, though. So um, hopefully we can win our next few wars and potentially compete for top three again. It'll just kind of depend how the matchups and everything shake out this time around. But uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.